And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some five color fires. This is our uh, third deck today, our last deck of the day um, for our 5 0 Friday stream. But this is a special edition of 5 0 Friday where we usually play 5 0 deck lists that have been, um, that were uh, published from the Magic Online results. Today we're doing some Mythic Championship decks, some of the more in interesting Mythic Championship decks. Um, this one, we have uh, five color fires with Niv-Mizzet Reborn. Um, this is just an awesome card to play, of course, Niv-Mizzet Reborn. The, the main thing that Niv-Mizzet's doing in here is helping us find casualties of war, and so we can have even more casualties of war to go along with our fires of invention. It just seems like a pretty sweet, interesting deck. There's a lot of... This is like a Niv-Mizzet Reborn deck with not a lot of hits. You know, because it only has Grow Spiral, Teferi, Casualties, and Krasis. Um, only 14 cards. Oh, and the three Escape to the Wilds, of course. So 17 cards to grab from it. Not a lot, you know, when you have Goose, Paradise Druid, um, Fires of Invention, Kenrith, none of those. And, of course, other Niv-Mizzets. Uh, we're also, like, ramping with creatures, but Fires of Invention cares about how many lands you have in play. So I don't know. Yeah, this is this is definitely a different looking deck here. And this will be really interesting to, to try it out and see how it does. Um, sideboard wise looks really, you know, kind of kind of basic. It's like I either want Dispark or Deputy or Shifting Ceratops. I want one of these cards. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's just kind of give this a try and just see how see how this does. We're gonna be playing four matches over in ranked with our deck here. Five color fires. Hopefully Niv Mizzet's uh, really good. I don't know. I don't really know what to expect from this deck, honestly. What you doing, Hawkeye? Okay. You're just sitting here hanging out? That's all I'm doing, too. Is I'm just sitting here hanging out, too. Where's our matches? Did everybody realize that we got Hawkeye playing and can't beat Hawkeye? So they're not joining? Don't usually wait an entire minute. Not usually. So you win every match that you cast a Niv and hit a Casualties. And then lose every one that you don't. <laughs> That's a pretty easy... Um, pretty easy bar there. Alright, good night, Oscar. Oscurio. There we go. Oscurio. Alright, I'm just going to hit the cancel button. Can't even cancel. We're just stuck in matchmaking purgatory. We can't cancel. We have to just continue waiting. Just always, always waiting. No, the stream's not ending. No, we got a, a new deck that were but we just started. Somebody said good night, so that's why I said good night back. Okay, re -Q. There it goes. 
Must have been some kind of bug or something. Oh, this deck looks crazy. Cauldron familiar. I haven't seen one of those before. Yeah, the colors, the colors. So we'll have Fable Passage, go grab Basic Mountain. We have everything but white in our mana base. Well, now we could have white in our mana base. But of course, we have Fires of Invention to cast stuff anyway. Am I supposed to play the other Fires out? I guess so. Um, no. This is Ken Yuga Heroes list. Shota's list did not have Niv Mizzet, I don't believe. There's no castle. There's. It's not really any card that we have to hit. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. This not being a very good Nimizit deck. Six lands, two Nimizits of fires in this growth spiral. I wanted to find I wanted to hit Teferi and have Teferi bounce the priest so the priest couldn't make me sack the reborn the next turn. That's what I wanted to happen. We do get to go double Casualties of War next turn. We can destroy both ovens. But then this other niv gets exiled, I guess. And I know I have the other two down at the bottom. Maybe we're supposed to just play one, then a Niv. So that can bring back Cauldron Familiar here. And I guess if I... I 
mean, I guess I'm just dead. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because then they sack that. Yeah, I guess I'm just dead. Yeah, I'm dead. So they look like they're just mono black. I'd assume this is what Deputy of Detention is for. Tulsmer and Kenrith can gain some good life. Basically have Deputy replace Teferi. No, there's no Ethereal Absolution in this list. That would make a lot of sense to have Ethereal Absolution, keep the Cauldron Familiars always dead. That would certainly make sense. Alright, I need to find lands. Uh, we need actual lands. Sorry, Goose. I assume this deck has a lot of lands, right? There's only 26. It's still a good amount, I guess. So we kept a two lander with a 26 land deck with a scry. go. Obviously, I don't want to tap my Paradise Druid, basically, as you can tell. Fires is a good draw. Cool, they're not killing the Paradise Druid. We need land. Come on. Yay, land. Alright, we need to hit another land here in the top five. 
good. Just gonna play this thing to kill the wrinkle. So I can only play two of these cards next turn. And one of those we're gonna have to keep exiled. So, of course, Casualties is definitely going to be one that we're going to play to kill the Witch's Oven. That's really do I want to play... Niv or Kenrith. Or, sorry, Niv or Escape. I kind of want to just play Kenrith, though. We could just have Escape and Niv both go away, I guess. Kenrith with Deputy of Detention seems pretty sweet. Just keep reanimating these things. That seems pretty sweet. Hey, fishies! Thanks for that tier 2 sub for 11 continue, continual months. Thanks, fishies. Just one part. I, I got all the parts in except for the case. The case got got delayed in shipping, and it says it won't be here until Tuesday now, unfortunately. I was supposed to have everything, like, today. Or yester yesterday, I guess. Yesterday, everything was supposed to show up yesterday, and everything did except for the case. So I gotta wait till Tuesday now. <clears throat> Here we go. I really want to keep this. On the play, I would definitely mulligan. But on the draw... Before our turn two, we're going to look at three cards. So we need a green land out of the, the three cards. One green land. There's 17 lands that add green. If we don't draw it, we just lose, though. All right, we're going to mulligan. Ugh. See, I like the last hand better. This hand kind of doesn't do anything. But we're not going down to five. They really like these duresses. They whiffed on a duress last game. Untap land. Oh, it's a tap land. Maybe too greedy me putting that down to the bottom. It's probably too greedy me putting that down to the bottom. Now I need that land with that gross spiral. Dang. Well, those will be just fine to deputize. Uh, 
be able to deputize those just fine. Basically, I'm just kind of debating, is it better to deputize or is it better to Tulsimer and just fight one and gain three? Because, you know, like, if we target one to deputy, they probably sack it to oven. That was one word also. They probably sack it to oven. That's a that's just it's a one syllable word. Probably sack it to oven. Prankle. Stop doing all your prankster stuff. Ow. All three modes. Well, that was a good turn. <laughs> Can I get a refund on these jokes? <laughs> yeah, it's in Canada. Sack it to oven, Canada. It's up there in the northern parts of Canada. All right, turns out Fires of Invention makes your, your stuff really, really powerful. And you get to just play multiple huge mana things each turn. Turns out that's good. I have a feeling that this, like this Escape to the Wilds card is going to be awesome. have a sneaking suspicion that it's going to help us get her done. Man, these Rakdos decks are really popular today. So 26 lands, that's 4, 8, 9, 10. So I don't really want to activate... Fabled Passage. Worry. I brought company. Because it just shuffles those two lands I put down to the bottom. No, no, I'm not Canadian. 
but Sakata Oven is a province in Canada. All right, we got another land. Go get him, buddies. That a pretty good start. I think their star was probably better than 10 lands. Yeah, probably. Not really need to show them anymore. So the same sideboarding, I suppose. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. I mean, even even if I, uh, you know, destroy the Chandra and a creature, we're still pretty dead. Yeah, both teams played hard. I mean, my my Druid just tried to chill in Paradise. My opponent's having none of that though. Hey, Gatsby. Good evening. Happy Friday. We got play first. I guess this is keepable. Going down to 16. Hmm. So I can have turn four Niv Mizzet. I can cast turn four Niv Mizzet here. Turn three? Turn three Niv Mizzet. So I can cast Niv Mizzet next turn. Oh, I cannot do fires plus Niv Mizzet. I'll just go Niv Mizzet. Because if I go if I go fires, I can only cast for four. I can't do five. That's pretty sweet. Turn three Niv Mizzet reborn. That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> that was a lot different from our last hand. With my one my one gilded goose that can enable that. That's why we're playing the one gilded goose. You only need the one. We didn't need a second. We just need that one. I'm going to Fable Passage for Island immediately so that if we draw Growth Spiral, we get to play it. Never mind. Check that. Now, hopefully Paradise Druid or even better yet, Growth Spiral. Growth Spiral is our best draw here for sure. 
because it, it puts another land into play. Well then, we're running hot. Uh, what can I ask for now, since I get, get to just ask for stuff? Uh, I guess we don't have anything great to play on turn four also with fires. I guess our best thing is Deputy of Detention. That's unfair. All right, so I want to draw another fires now. No, I don't want the deputy anymore. Ugh, didn't they hear me? I said no deputy anymore. I guess you don't get to change once you call it. It already put it there. So Niv Mizzet or Kenrith. I want any five mana cost card. Niv Mizzet, Kenrith, Escape to the Wilds. Fine. We'll take fires. Alright, we'll get a land out of here. Because I, I said that one before. You know, I wanted another fires. That's why I said for the last turn. So yeah, it just... It does... It, it has been... You know, I, I said I wanted a deputy. It was there. And then the next turn I was like, well, I, well instead I want fires. And they were like, fine, here's the fires. Here's the deputy, here's the fires. So now, this next turn, we should get that five mana cost card. Yeah, so there, there is no calling it off, I guess. Like, whatever, whenever you call for it, it just it shows up. We're four for four with calling the, the cards so far. Island, then Grow Spiral. Deputy Fire. So it's, this has to be a 5 drop. The first 5 drop I said was Niv Mizzet. No! Too overconfident. Land Creature Artifact. Artifact. Creature. Land. I think it's probably not too difficult for them to get another red source, as far as that goes, rather than just not be able to draw cards with castle. Need at Niv Mizzet to escape to the wilds. Technically, we got a two turn clock, attacking for seven. They're at 14, but obviously, they got, they got some nourishment. And see, told you they had. They'd be able to get another red source. Ooh, Hydroid Crisis? That would be good. That's not bad. There's the five drop. Took a little bit.
Give me that back. Oh, that was game three? Was that game three? Yeah, we had the turn two Niv-Mizza game. That's right. That, that game just took no time. I forgot about that one. Two and zero. I hope they gave me this win. Hello, where'd you go? Hello. Good game. I guess I'll just have to Alt F four and rejoin. No, with Hydro Crisis, you do have to, it's either you just play it for free, and w in which case X is zero, or you just play it normally. So with Hydro Crisis, you just, you know, you have all those lands out there. You just tap all your lands like normal and play a normal Hydro Crisis. But then you could play a follow-up spell for free. <laughs> yeah i mean i think that i think the new internet is still is better than the old internet i think i have to really find out whenever we replace computer though as well Is it better to play Paradise Druid or Growth Spiral on turn two? Against Forest? I'll, I'll keep the Paradise Druid. What do we got going on over here? Is this like flash ramp? That's what it seems like. Which good, yay. No night pack ambusher. Yeah, I got the sleeve. Yeah, I got the code for these. Yeah, so there's these seven new sleeves. Um, I got the code f for them on eBay. It was fourteen dollars for the seven sleeves. So that's what I did. I, I went to eBay. Strange and magnificent world. The land fights for us. Nissa just likes to brag. The land fights for us. Take that. I think you just start Nim, is it? Just get one casualties of war. But I want two casualties of war. They're going for $25 now for the seven? Wow, they were 14 earlier this morning. Maybe the person that was selling them for 14 sold out. I know I know like whenever I said at the beginning um, of the stream a, a couple of people said they went to go buy them.
Kenrath should be, you can reanimate any creature and put it under your control. Like, why can't I just reanimate their agent of treacheries? That's a completely fair thing to do. Completely fair. Rise, my elemental friend. So yeah, the Cavalier of Thorns token, we don't have to worry about. Um, getting something back, it can't. Okay, the sleeves are eventually going to go up in the store. Oh, cool. They should quasi-duplicate the Hydroid Crisis. So what can they get back? I guess they get back Agent of Treachery. I guess we're just taking the Cavalier of Thorn. I could, you know, I could kill the Cavalier of Thorn by blocking with the Kenrith and turning Kenrith into a 6-6. I don't really want them to get Agent of Treachery, though. And then just be able to go Agent, Quasi-Duplicate Agent. Kenrith can just gain, you know, we can just gain the 5 life back that this Cavalier of Thorns is attacking for. No big deal. card does so much stuff. That's true. I could have just let the Niv die and then revived with Kenrith. That's true. I feel like the escape to the wild should get us a good amount of stuff, though. Hmm. 
I'm down to eight. I'm known for my excellence. Trust me, I have a plan. I'm known for my excellent trust me. I did leave myself dead if they I guess not not quite dead. Almost dead if they have removal for Niv Mizzet. Yep, it says under its owner's control. So yeah, I, I can't. I do not want to reanimate their stuff, even though I, I really want to reanimate their stuff, but I shouldn't. No, if the token if the token from the green cavalier dies, nothing happens because whenever cavalier of thorns dies, you have to exile it, and then if you do, it does this. But if a token dies, you can't exile a token from your graveyard because the token's never in your graveyard. It's a token, so the token can't do any of this stuff. So basically, you can kill. Basically, the tokens don't have that clause, and you can just kill them with no um, with no worry as far as green cavalier tokens go. All right, if they have instant speed removal, I lose. They could, Brazen Borrower. Yay. That's true, I could be reanimating their Cavalier. That's a good point, and I could mill them more. But they need more Cavaliers in their graveyard. There's a cavalier. That's a good point. I can use this off. I can use this offensively. Reanimate their risen reef and their cavalier. Make them draw more cards. Here goes nothing. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. I was like, I'll just pass with Teferi with Casualties of War up. Right. Oh, well. Good thing Kenrith is busted. A second finale. Hey <laughs> Chandler, thanks for that resub. Well, this is obviously just going to be game. Um, yeah, the second finale killed me for sure. Because of that thing. Trample. I can gain 20 life. Usually 20 life's a lot.
Dang, imagine if we had a time wipe in our deck. And I could just time and I could just instant speed time wipe here. Yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, this looks like yeah, I think we're playing against Mangucci's list. That has, yeah, the two of them in the main. Certainly worried about Agent of Treachery. I guess... I guess Teferi is good against Agent of Treachery. This is a good goose matchup though too. I have too many cards I want to bring in. Not enough slots. Do I not want to play Dispark? Dispark does seem pretty awesome. I don't have more cards to cut. It's just not not playing all the deputies into sparks, I guess. Those two cards are pretty awesome. Because they're just Simic, right? They're not actually playing removal. I mean, I guess they could have Voracious Hydra in the board. Just have room for all of them. No, I think Kenrith is kind of our way to win. I, I think this is a, just a really great Kenrith matchup. Deck without very much removal. Where Kenrith can sit on the battlefield. Paradise Druid. Alright, so we know we get to draw two with a Krasis this next turn. Just gonna make it a five power. Krasis. I think it's probably worth two life just putting an extra counter on that thing. Probably. I think that's my my plan right now. And if, if they play Cavalier of Thorns to block, we can deputy it. Same thing with their own Krasis to block. 
you know, so basically they, you know, kind of tap out, play a large blocker. We deputy it, attack for a bunch. The Kenrith is pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six. We do have the mana to go and play deputy and Kenrith and haste. It looks like. It's green or red. Keeping two mana up. Some kind of instant speed interaction. Maybe it's another ether gust. Oh, I shouldn't attack with the deputy. They get to W. They get to triple block now with it. Right, because I don't have that six six. That's lethal anymore. That was a really bad attack with the deputy. That was just a bad attack by me. <sighs> At the time I was doing the math, they couldn't make a triple block because it'd be lethal. I didn't reassess. Hey, door to door. Door to door, door salesman. What's up? Happy Friday night. So, big mistake by me there. Looks like they just have lethal with the finale now. Ah, uh, no, large crisis. Nature's true power. Yep. And now this is over. They certainly are going to have a finale with having their entire deck in their hands. 
Don't, don't know if we would have won that anyway. Like, you know, they would have just had one less land with the Cavalier. I don't know. They still probably were going to be able to have that awesome turn either way. All right, and John Sacrifice. Yeah, I wish I wouldn't have made that punt and just kind of seen what happened. Otherwise, it probably wasn't going to be going good for us, but it would have been nice to see. Rockvel with a Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Rockvel. Welcome to the channel. That is our ninth sub of the day. I was one behind again. So one away from our sub goal now. All right, hopefully we find casualties of war in the top 10. We did. And we're putting one, two, three, four, Five, six more lands down to the bottom. We'll take another one. So lots of lands down to the bottom. All right, land enchantment, creature, creature, artifact. Choose an artifact. Choose a creature. Choose an enchantment. Choose a land. <laughs> you have so many fires and reclamation decks for sure. Oh yeah, Niv definitely can find some casual ties. Certainly. Main deck Cinder Vines. It's a lot of damage.
Why would you wait till my upkeep? Like, just like, what's the point? My, my turn is when I can cast stuff. I can't cast stuff during their turn. Oh, I guess. So if I had an instance that they blew it up, then I couldn't play an instant afterwards, I guess. Sorry, excuse me. So I'm going to have Kenra sit back and gain life. That's my plan here with this Kenra. I would like to target me. To gain five life. No creatures on my side to reanimate. I don't think they can kill Kenrith if I block, right? This does one damage to it. They bring it back with Familiar to do a second damage to it with the Devil. Oh, whatever. I'll just take it. I'm gaining five life a turn. I mean, I should have been attacking with the Kenrith, too. But it's all good. <laughs> Why do I rather play best of three? It's I like side morning, and it's just kind of how I grew up on Magic, too. You know, like, I've, I've been playing best of three my whole Magic career. Um, but yeah, it's, I like the sideboarding. I like how if you don't just lose the the first game, you know, you're you're done for. I lose a lot of game ones and then win a lot of games two and three after sideboarding, just kind of in general, not not necessarily with with this, but Yeah, I like all that. I could definitely see the appeal to best of one though. And I usually enjoy playing I, I not usually, I always do. I, I enjoy best of one day Monday where we play best of one. So they were Jund color. I don't know if I want to play all these deputies against Jund color. Jund has like Frasca that kills him. Eh, it's still probably better than Teferi. All right, we'll just do the same sideboarding we did against the other the other sacrifice decks.
Oh, it's PC. Got it, not computer. I had the wrong... The wrong command. This is a good looking hand. Oh, I've never done it before either, one, two, three. I have no idea how to build a PC. Yeah, I have, I have no idea. We'll figure it out. From every every from what everybody said, it's not it's not very difficult. From what everybody has said. So I'm hoping it's not. Yeah, best of three is a lot, uh, yeah, significantly larger time investment. That is true, especially with this format. This is a, a very slow best of three format. You can definitely rank up a lot faster in best of one right now. Not That may not always be the case, but it is right now. Yeah, Harrow, glad, yeah, glad you love the YouTube channel. Thanks for joining over here. I appreciate it. Come on, land. Uh, that particularly hurts because my opponent knows that I don't have a land now. So th that it incentivizes them to kill my Paradise Druid. Yeah, QQ is in a YouTube video. You can send it. Yeah, you can send the link to the YouTube video in here. That's fine. But yeah, so for right now, I'm not. Come on. Come on. I just want land so I can play my spells. So right now I'm not really planning on I'm not planning on streaming on Tuesday. Um, Hawkeye has a vet appointment because he's got a cold, so he's going in to the vet on Tuesday, and then after that, that I'm going to spend the day building the PC. Didn't I keep a three lander with this hand? Pretty sure I kept a three lander. We've just drawn eight cards and no lands. We got 26 lands in here. Where are they at? All right, game number three. This would be a very good 
growth spiral hand. But at least we got four lands this time. They're down to five cards. So five card hand should be pretty slow. Give us time to set up. when that happens when you need land and the game says no and when you need spells and it's like take more lands oh I guess that was a black source to cast Niv Mizzet I guess I could have kept that for that reason but I mean, come on, look at what we got going on here. We don't we don't really need to just keep another land, right? Alright, though, really solid hand for our opponent though. Gilly Goose. Trail of crumbs. Go get more permanent. So this is a definitely a good a good five for sure. Oh wow, and then oven cauldron familiar. That's just ideal. Well, they're going to start grinding those cards that they're missing back right away. I don't think I like how they just play that other Trail of Crumbs here, though. I'm not sure if I like how they played that immediately. Alright, well, Paradise Druid was a better draw than Overgrown Tomb. Certainly, so that's good. If we draw a Black Source, we can casualties this next turn. Destroy the goose, the oven, and one crumb. If not, we can either reborn or escape. I really hope we draw this black mana. Kill this Corvold. Okay, that's not bad. I was one mana short from playing Escape and the Deputy this last turn. Yeah, they've completely fought through that Mold of Five, of course. Yeah, Corvold, really awesome with Oven and Cauldron Familiar for sure. Need to draw a land here. There's a land.
it went away. Definitely need like fires of invention to start being able to play you know a lot of stuff each turn. But I don't I don't even know if we can outdo this now. This looks over. They rider kill the deputy. Get Corvold back. Well, there's fires. This is probably over. I, I very good chance my punk can just do 13 damage to me here before I untap. So that's five. This is six. This is seven. This is eight. Um, that's nine. Right now, without them playing a single other card at 10, I'm taking 10. Without them playing a single other card. And obviously they're gonna have they're gonna have ways to sacrifice three things. Cause this this thing's gonna get to do another one. <laughs> no, I I wasn't Z Z Y. No attackers, no attackers at all. So it looks like we're gonna be finishing up with a two and two here. Oh, they didn't. They had nothing. Like, why don't they just play the witches oven? It's lethal. I mean, it still looks like it's probably gonna be lethal. Oh, because they just want to win with a number cleave. That's unnecessary, but cool, I suppose. Seems like a really unnecessary card in that deck. Like, what does the game look like that, that this wasn't good enough? Do you need Number Cleave? Huh. I like Jun Sacrifice. I think it's I think it's just a really strong deck. I picked that as one of my decks that I think will do really well this weekend, but Ember Cleave kind of feels like a waste of a slot. Zix, gotcha. All right, but there we go. That's um, that's some um, five color fires. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's unnecessary, but that's okay. Um, so uh, yeah, so we finished up two and two. I should update that. 
This deck was okay. I, I think that the best deck that we played out of the three that we played today, I think Azorius Control felt like the best deck that we played. This one was, you know, pretty clunky. Um, I didn't really... Like, Deputy's fine, but as we saw there, like, they just kept on killing Deputy, getting their core hold back. I wish we had, like, real... I wish we had better removal. Obviously, Dispark gets rid of Corvold, but that's like the only thing in their deck that it gets rid of. Um, so I didn't love the sideboard of four Dispark, four Deputy, four Ceratops, but obviously the person that that put this together, that's playing it, has some sub specific, some very specific cards in mind and very specific matchups that they want those sideboard slots. When we had Fires of Invention in play and then got to play multiple things, our deck looked amazing. Kenrith, of course, is just incredible with Fires of Invention. Um, I don't know if I really like the Gilded, the Gilded Goose, honestly. I, and honestly, I don't. I don't like the Gilded Goose. I guess it gives you something else to do with your mana, though, whenever you have Fires, like in a later game, how you can just make food and sack food. Nah. And I didn't really like Teferi too much either honestly because we just kept we just played against the cauldron familiar decks all the time and i don't know about those two here okay but that's uh five color fires um so those of y'all watching on youtube make sure to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there um but uh that's it here for five color fires so uh also leave comments there we go i meant to, to say that uh let me know what you think of the deck just kind of like the what, what do you think of the um, the Mythic Championship decks overall? Which ones have you liked? Which ones have you not liked? Um, and that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching some Five Color Fires, and I'll see you for the next video.